Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome, everyone. It's a great pleasure to have you here. So I just want to know how was your how was your day? Was good? Was bad? So how was it? So far, so good. Okay, thanks a lot. Well, so it's a great time to, you know, to go back to class. Um, always um, analyzing the, the importance about practicing. In, um, in every class, we just uh, always have the opportunity to, you know, show that we are like maximizing your skills. And uh, what are the best ways of practicing? So Emerson, how do you feel? Because you are like exposed to communicate all the time in class. What do you think about that? Well, I believe it's a great opportunity to increase the, the ability to speak. Yes. Yes, because, well, yeah, we, we understand that there are uh, classes in which we had to work in, in vocabulary, structures, and grammar. But in this time, we, we go beyond that. We work, we combine writing also and speaking. That is one of the things that it's important to you know, to share, right? The, the capacity to to communicate all the time and especially. And uh, uh, let's see, Osman, what, what could be the advantages of speaking in English during classes? What are the advantages? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, good evening. Uh, I'm sorry, teacher, can you repeat uh, the question? Yes, yeah, so what are the advantages of uh, speaking in English during classes? Uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, advantages. For example, uh, uh, one of them is uh, when I speak, the teacher can, can give me a suggest about the pronunciation. Uh, suggestion. Also, I. Excuse me. Uh, suggestion. Suggestion. Yes, you can give me suggestion. Uh, how, how is the correct pronunciation? Also, uh, I feel free. I feel free. Uh, I improve my skill to speak frequently. Uh, I get more. Confianza, security or seguridad? I don't confidence. Know. Yeah, confidence. Con confidence. Yes, I feel more confidence. Uh, yeah, for example, this this one. That's right. Yes, definitely that is very helpful. Uh, someone else I would like to give your opinion. So it's it's very necessary to uh concentrate or effort to you know practice because we could be good at writing because writing is important also reading it is the, the main skills we always in class we combine everything we combine writing we combine reading we combine uh, listening and the speaking that is a priority but something in interesting that Osman said about a class is that we have the chance to speak. When we produce the language as much as we can, we get confidence. It doesn't matter if we um, speak, um, you know, improving perfectly or not. But the, the most valuable point of this is that we get confidence. We can also talk in class. We can also maximize our skills. And also we feel secure. And uh, like some situations in life, it's like, um, we always do, we have some doubts, like, I don't know how to say this one in English. What's the meaning? What's the pronunciation? How can I rephrase this sentence? So it's normal for learners because it's, we're not uh, native speakers. But besides that one, we have a, a great English devil. So if we don't practice, if we are not exposed to practice, we won't know or we won't have the necessity to know new words. I make you speak because we need to speak. And when I make you speak, you start explaining. But there is a moment in which you have a doubt about a word or you don't know how to say that. 
And you're like, oh my God, how do you say that? Teacher, how can I say this in English? And then we understand that we have some needs to learn new vocabulary, new expressions. And when we do that one repetitively, so we feel more confident, we have, we expand our knowledge and also we can speak fluently because we, we know everything. So that's why it's a very, very important way to communicate actively. It's something that you perhaps you won't learn in a regular class. Our classes from Monday to Fridays are very strategical. And I will explain you the reasons why. Because every day we have not just one hour, two hours class is active, is advanced. So in every class we have a feedback about what we do. And also our learning process become a better, more confidence, more vocabulary and expressions. But at the same time, uh, the time is shorter in comparison to have, for example, three three uh, three days class, like some some schools or academies that people like they have classes on Saturdays, for example. And this is not enough because during the week people don't practice or two or three times a week. It's good. But imagine to study like the schedule we have guarantee us to uh, make the time shorter and have a better practice and more practice. It's very challenging because the, because of the schedule. And I always have said that um, you are very committed, responsible, and with a great vision about learning because you have been working a lot during the day and then you come to class every every class, every, every day during the week. Um, and you're here learning, fulfilling requirements, and practicing. But what is the reward? There is a reward about everything that we are doing here now. And the reward is that you will become successful about learning a second language, but not just learning a second language by itself. The advantage is your English level will be better, will be advanced, will be good. So you will uh, learn the four main skills and you will become competitive in the process. So that's why when I see this program that every day, two hours class, uh, 120 minutes, I mean, practicing all the time, you stay here all the time during the week, the time will become shorter in comparison to some schools or academies. There are some people that they take like two or three three years they don't learn English. I know people that say, yeah, how many years uh, do you have learning English? By the way, I'm in an academy and I'm, I'm studying for around two, two years and a half and I need to improve English. But imagine two years and a half is a lot of time. But you are in the right process for that. Okay, so you don't have to uh, forget that everything we do here has a very special purpose. And that is to maximize English in a shorter time. So don't forget about that. Well, let me present right now the presentation uh, of our English class today. And also there are some students, and I just want to say that um, when we, one second, someone is, is trying to join the class right now. So we had to complete the exercises. There are two students that they haven't completed the exercises on the platform. And, uh, you know, Insafor is very serious about that, that you have to fulfill all the requirements. Okay, let's see. We're going to ask two. Um, what's what do you what we what we did yesterday, guys? The, can you tell me? Because I forgot everything, so I need your help. What we did yesterday? Who wants to help me to explain what happened? I remember, teacher, yesterday uh, we study a uh, skill about certain pros, uh, professions. Okay, thank you. Uh, someone else that would like to, you know, express what you remember we did. We talk about the uh, some kinds of employment, uh, like uh, super employment, uh, paid employment, and 
I, I don't remember what is the word, what is the name, but it's like uh, entrepreneurs, uh, self-employed, excuse me, self, self-employed and voluntary and work. Uh, uh, I, I don't remember what is the, what is the other, uh, the other kind of, of employment. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, we also uh, define about some trainings and also the concepts about some words and that we we talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each one. For example, when you work by yourself, you don't have no one else to work with. So you all talk about, you know, the advantages of working alone and the disadvantages of working alone. Also, the advantages of, of having a job that you get paid like normally we have. What are the advantages? Because we have an stable job, because we have an schedule, because we have insurance, I have a seguro, because the job we do is very formal and also et cetera. But also there are some disadvantages about the time. Sometimes we work extra hours with no uh, a special payment like a bonus, or perhaps we have a very strong schedule or very challenging kind of job we do. So there are like advantages and disadvantages, like we have flexibility or not. And also we talk about that in the last class. We will continue uh, with the, the same activity that I explained, but I need to have a short review because the, the, the reference about this is this one. Look at this. Uh, design a basic needs assessment instrument. So in the previous classes, like former classes, we had the opportunity to check this one. Look at this. I'm just going to expand this. I'm sorry. Well, this is specifically this one. Okay, look at this. Oh, look at this part. It says uh, that, that we have a, a needs assessment instrument. The goal about the needs assess, uh, assessment instrument is to uh, make questions about what needs do we have in our jobs or what needs do people have in the department? And also, for example, task you are expected to perform in your position. Well, I need to be responsible. I need to get the goals expected in the company. I need to get on target. I need to respect and get the metrics about what I'm doing. So those are like questions that can help us to see if we have some needs or not about our job. This is another one. List the skills you would like to have and the training suction. So for example, what kind of is a uh, trainings would you like to have? Well, I would like to have a public, uh, you know, public speaking training. I would like to manage the technology with my work. I would like to um, to work in teams. Some needs to to do or to have as a training. Look at the next one. Another example is list the current skills you have that allow you to perform the task uh, that your position demands. What things, what skills would you like to have? This is another question in your needs instrument or well, assessment instrument. Well, I would like to know more about technology. I would like to know about programming. I would like to, uh, to work with uh, metrics. I would like to plan. And some of them that we also can talk about. And also we have the next part, uh, how will your performance improve after the training? How will your optimized performance benef uh, will benefit the organization? So different questions that you can also evaluate, that you can include in your NETS assessment instrument with the purpose to know if you are in the right direction in your job, if you are in the right position in your job too.
So those are like the valuable points about the needs instrument assessment instruments. So for, this is especially uh, managers or perhaps the human resources, they prepare a kind of assessment to know about the employees in the company. Imagine I, I am the, you know, the, the, the person in charge of the human resources. I would like to ask a couple of questions to the employees to know if they have some needs, if they are in the right direction, if they need to improve in something, if they have some needs about some trainings they would like to have. So they uh, we start getting some valuable questions and that can help us. And we have some questions like this one. How do you structure a, need, a needs assessment? Well, we include some questions that can help the employer to discover if the employees have some needs, for example, what questions should be asked in the needs assessment? Uh, necessities, trainings, uh, like a like a kind of photo we say in Spanish. Uh, for example, some needs, instruments they need, what the skills they would like to get, uh, tools that can help employees to grow in the company. And what are needs, the assessment methods? For example, the ways how we can also discover the employees' information. How we can transmit confidence to employees that they also can express themselves, how they feel in the job, if they are doing a great job, if they need uh, support by the managers, et cetera. And how do, you, uh, how do you do a learning needs assessment? So we also have a, an example about the needs assessment instrument. Um, in the in the in prior classes, I remember that I asked you if you were ever evaluated in your in your activities, in your tasks, in your jobs. Some of you said that most of the time they were evaluating your work, your process, and that's important because through evaluations we can identify if we're doing a great job, if not, if we need to improve in something or not if we need extra help to do a better job or not. So we also can discuss about that part. This is um, something that maybe we can also talk about related to needs assessment instruments. Okay, and as a review, it, it was okay for you this part? It was okay for you this part. Yes, teacher. Okay, thanks. This is what we do, right? If, for example, in my job, um, uh, every like two or three times during the year, I'm ev evaluated by my boss. She got a kind of needs assessment instrument, and she see my she sees my work, and she evaluates what I'm doing if I'm doing okay if I have the resources, if I have the books, if I have the methodology, if I have the pl lesson plannings, what they check my needs. If I'm doing a great job, if I need, uh, for example, markets, if I have enough paper, if I'm, if the printer is, is uh, good, if the, my, the English lab is okay. So they check my needs. And why they, they care about that? Because if I have all the resources, if I have everything that I need, I will I will have an advantage and will have better job. That is the, one of the points related to this one. Okay, and yesterday we were talking about this kind of jobs, like a teacher's job, like support worker, at healthcare assistants, operations managers, area sales manager, personal assistant, receptionist, and supply chain, like. And what I want you to do is that right now we're going to work in a small groups. And for example, you will select five jobs from the list, five jobs in your group. And you will think about what training do you suggest these jobs need. For example, let's uh, let me help you with the first one. A teacher, what kind of training do you consider?
teachers need? Well, there are a lot of trainings, but think about one training that you consider could be interesting for teachers. Maybe how to speak. Mm, but but teachers speak. <laughs> what in what way? Oh, in, the, in the correct way, maybe because some teachers cannot express the ideas or teach ideas for the students. But some some people knows a lot of a lot of um, ideas about the some topic, but they cannot teach. Okay, I understand, I understand. Yes, there are some uh, teachers that they have the knowledge, but sometimes they don't know how to teach what they know. And yeah, at, yeah. at university, there are some professors, I mean, not teachers, there are professors, that they are experts in mathematics, for example, engineering, incredible professors, they know a lot. But when they are teaching, some students don't understand sometimes because they yes, they don't have the pedagogy like to teach. They don't have the strategies to teach. In a teacher that prepares for three years or five years, they are experts because they know how to teach. Maybe I, I, that could be a good strategy, Kevin. I understand your point. Like teaching strategies. That would be the training. I, I like the name for the training, okay. teaching stri strategies. Uh, training, training like. teaching strategy trainings. Okay, any other um, training that you consider it would be appropriate for teachers? Just the technology teacher? Okay, uh, educative technology could be? Okay, yeah. Okay. E educative technology, so that's mean that the students will use the technology to teach. Okay, but the teacher, the teacher, it's a use, use very well at technology. Sometimes teacher don't use a, a te, don't use a technology. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I just want to add something else, to, uh, Antonio, is that there are some technologies can that can help students to study beyond the classroom. You go to class and you study, and then you go home and that's it. Students will uh, with this training. Teachers will have the opportunity to, to let students homework virtually using the platforms, using the um, mm -hmm. applications. So they also can combine education and technology to have better resource, resources. Because you know that nowadays this generation of people, teenagers, they use technology even better than us. Yes or not? Yes. Yes. You give a cell phone to a kid and they use the phone like the easiest in life. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. some of us, we had some challenges with technology time ago because we didn't have access to internet, uh, like in a way, smartphones, everything is being updated, right? So uh, this generation of kids, adolescents, they use the technology in a good way. That, that's an advantage, right? Okay, uh, another example of, of uh, a training for a teacher. We have educa educative technology, uh, teaching strategies. What else would you like to include? I believe maybe it's a motivation techniques for learning. Sometimes it's necessary to motivate the students to follow the, the learning okay so yeah okay related to motivation to learn right 
Exactly. Motivational strategy, strategies to learn, right? So that you have to learn, but you have to look for a way in which people feel encouraged to learn. Because you are like, you're going to study English. I know that's boring. I don't want to study that. Oh, but you you will use some strategies to teach in a very good way, like uh, ludic activities, funny things. Um, sometimes people complain because um, classes are like kind of boring, depending what level it is this, but also could be a good, you know, train. I really like that. Okay, this is what we had to do. In our groups, you will select five jobs, like the ones we have, and you will... Uh, describe or write the name of a training and you will explain what about the training like what we have done right now okay so for example you can say okay let's select receptionist what kind of training do you consider we can include for a receptionist wow okay i consider that they can use this uh, training because this is going to help the receptionist to do this to do this to do this that's what we had to do. We had to design or think about a training for, for the five jobs. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Excellent. So we are 14 right now. We're going to, let's see, how many groups? Okay, we're going to make three groups, okay? So please do me a favor to... Um, see this frame and accept the invitation to move on to the breakout rooms right now. Let's go then. Oh, maybe in the in the video conference, maybe it would be right. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, in my case, I propose that. Healthcare assistance job description. For me, we can work on this. I don't know what other would you select. What do you select? Sorry. Healthcare. Number three. Healthcare assistant job. Yeah. I propose a supply chain job description because I work in this this area. Okay, and uh, I don't know, Manuel Antonio. Operation manager job description. Operation manager. Okay, but. I remember the teacher said five, right? Yes. Oh, yes, man. And uh, what about What's a teacher this? job description? Maybe a recep receptionist? Yes, those who. Teacher the and teacher receptionist. Job. Okay. Okay, That's very good. good. <laughs> so I went there. Mm. 
fichas. I am going to look for mission health for assistant. So I don't know if we have to to write them or only to a training is is uh, um, I am I want to understand. Um, uh -huh, for okay. example, yeah, support worker job. I think they they need a a training. In um, how to be efficient solving problems, for example, mm -hmm. or they need a training in how to how how do I say? Or well, well, training in the in the in the in different aspects. A training for the job. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh, different aspects of the job. Uh, yes. For, for example, for example, uh, the, the teacher is lack like, um, pedagogy, pedagogy, I don't know, uh, maybe training in pedagogy. Yes, it could be. Uh, but okay. So we have to choose five jobs. Support worker job. I think they some some support the uh, workers really need uh, a training with patient. Patient, being patient, and how to be polite. Recently, I I, I had uh, some issues with <laughs> with a uh, call center. I think that maybe I think that the the person who who respond to my call was I don't know if. if he was oh. upset or tired, but I, I feel I felt like he was rude when talking to me. So but for example, the healthcare, uh, the control the, the person or uh, handle the medicine for the assistant the the the, the person, maybe. Yeah, they ha they have to be, be very polite too. Yeah, yeah. They okay. have to be careful. Uh, I don't know. 
with with healthcare if they they learn a um, special reading for the doctor's writing. <laughs> yeah. The letter of uh, he, he told he told us the all jobs. I don't I don't remember. Profession. Yeah. Other profession. The teacher. Uh, we just talk about the teacher. The other profession: doctors, lawyer. Mm. Electric. Electric. Electrician. 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 It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Uh, this profession. They need training in um, industrial security, maybe. Security, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And training and use a different uh, equipment, equipment, right? For example, testers and, I don't know, they mm -hmm. use a, a many tools. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yes. Other profession will be good to training. Uh, I don't know. It's the, how do you say? Pol, pol, politica, politico? Uh, I know, I know, I know. The, no, 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 the currently politics. Uh, the, the politics is the politic uh, or yes, politic yes. I, I don't know I don't know how do you say the, the politic the politic is, is, is good but the problem is the people currently management the politic but uh, this is other other thing but the uh, the objective the politic the politic is 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 good to to help the uh, the people more 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 need yes uh, create a project uh, develop develop uh, the people. I don't know. They need training in a relationship, right? In relationship. Public relationships and <coughs> maybe um, I don't know. For me, for me, it will be fine. If uh, will uh, will be a required for to be a politic, for example, uh, this person had to must must be professional. Yes, we are career. A, a person wants to be a politic. They uh, he he has to be a career. I don't know. It's my opinion. Okay, change, change profession. Mejor, no cambiamos de profesión. Go back to the lawyer. <laughs> yes. yes. I, I, my, my, my opinion is Juan Carlos, 2024, 2027. <laughs> <laughs> this yes. is your proposal. <laughs> Yes. I need training in light. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or or speaking um uh, uh, speaking uh, in a ma massive people. Uh, yes. I don't know how do you say that. Uh, ma massive. Hey, yeah. using different technology, right? <laughs> Twitter. Yes. Training in Twitter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Also, what else? What else? What else? The other profession. For me, the other profession I, I like is is engineer. How do, I don't know how do you say uh, engineer agronom. I, I like. I like. 
uh, this profession needs to a training about the different uh, environment training the the, the fauna <laughs> necesita conocer mucho la fauna Agronomy, right? Ingenier. Agronomy. 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 Yes. Yeah, the, this career is, is, is beautiful. It's beautiful. Depend if you like uh, the environment, the plants, the animals, uh, to enjoy it. Yes. Depend if you like that. Mm -hmm. In project manager for uh, two because uh, they general uh, they uh, do a, a big project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's not only uh, I don't know how do you say sembrar. Yes, I I I, I don't know too. I don't know too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So, so sweet. <laughs> yes. I have I have a project. I have a project. I hope to do uh, to do uh, in two in two or three weeks. Uh, I'm going to sembrar. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to sem We're going to sow. You can say oh. sow, you can say plant. I'm going to plant. I'm going to plan a uh, a plan is uh, in 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 Spanish is granadilla is green granadilla para frescos verdes but uh, I'm going to plant a uh, vertical vertical no no in ramada it's vertical in or in my world yes in my world uh, I'm going to try yes I hope. I hope funcione, espero que funcione. Okay, you hope it works. You hope it works. Ah, I hope I hope I hope it, it works. Yes, okay. Okay. What else, what else what is the other profession? Um, let me see, let me see. Mm -hmm. Do, do you do you know uh, uh, the people uh, specialists in volcanology? Volcanology, I don't know. I, I, how do you say in, in English? Uh, yes. the, 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 like the job is like a volcano. Volcanologist, right? Oh. Yes. I, I, there are there are people specialists in this area. Yes, it's very interesting to yeah, study or monitor the. Uh, the volcan, 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 volcan uh, monitor volcan, uh, train the uh, seismic. Yes, this is all there. Uh, I, area interesting. Also, uh, the, the, uh, about the medicine, that there are there is other area. For example, a pediatra, a pediatra doctor. Uh, this is a, a specialist. Uh, yes.
Oh, uh, students, I have a question. You you finished uh, the five with the five jobs? Not yet. We are almost finished. We are looking internet. Okay, so you describe three and four right now, or how many have you? Uh, I. We're working on five. Oh, okay, the last one. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, because okay. in uh in three more minutes we will go back to the main session to to analyze you know the kind of trainings that the jobs you selected um could happen right okay continue yeah 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 teacher we are working on thank you. Oops. Um, hello, everybody finished here or not yet? Hello, hello. Hi. Uh, yes, teacher, we finished. Finish. Okay, yes. perfect. No, in, yes, I teacher. think in three minutes, um, in three minutes, we will go back to the main session to socialize what you have done, okay? So three more minutes and then we will go back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. so. Four, we have four things we can okay. say. Okay. Okay, right. Who will start? Yes. Well, it could be a good experience. And also, this could be another profession, maybe. How to be a good partner, you need to, to be trained in a lot of skills, like Mathematical teacher, language teacher, informatic teacher. Yes. Uh, also, uh, the, to be a, a father and mother is other profession. Their profession. I know we, we don't we don't we don't we don't need to <laughs> to go to the university. Uh, it's difficult because nobody uh, study for to be a father and mother. <laughs> no. uh, uh, you 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 have to learn in in the in the in the work in the, in the, the fly. <laughs> yes, it is difficult, but but you you need to learn uh, about the health, about the the mirror, uh, many things, many things, many things uh, we need to 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 do for uh, for to for to be a a good father and mother. Yes. <laughs> well, Osman Atilio, what do you think? He's shy today. <laughs> Osman, the people want to hear you. Um, really, the different area and a and job is necessary training, and actually, the for the job. Uh, about the technology, for example, on the process is different for the, the job in this moment. And the next 10 years, because it's uh, different the, for the, the training. And for example, in my case, in my job, um, it's necessary to adapt uh, actually uh, the situation in the commercial, in the commercial because the different for the in this moment, for example, the e-commerce is a, a commercial for the sale in this moment. In the last five years or six years, uh, no more important. And this moment is very, very expensive. And the important that uh, the my the my company is this for uh, create uh, the department uh, for sales, right? In is this in my case because in whole training, whole, whole job is necessary actually that the training 
for actually the the fourth job. Yes, yes. Yes, it's it's, it's important. Yeah. It's important. Uh, and in the sport, for example, it's different for the, for example, in the soccer, in this moment, the for the, the play soccer is different in the, the last 10 years. Yes. This moment is more physical, the athletic, the, the professional uh, uh, play uh, requires the, the aspect physical and emotional. And other time, for example, in the Maradona play, it's, it's difficult. The the most aggressive, um, a hardy play the, the soccer, for example. In the sport, uh, the for the play is is actually is is modern, more technology. Example, the in the player, so it's a complement. The different area is necessary. Actually, the different form. In the job, I, I, don't, I don't know, guys. Uh, 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 that Josman told us is it, in is interesting for me. I I, I don't know uh, almost nothing about the soccer because I, I don't like the truth. I'm sorry, but I, I don't like the the, the soccer. Basketball, for example. Basketball, a, a little, but uh, but I don't practice. Okay. I I only practice uh, running. Uh, uh, ¿cómo es? Bicicleta, motorcycle, cycle, cycle. But uh, there is some in, 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 interesting for me about the soccer. Okay, students, so let's continue with the with the activity. I, I saw that the groups are uh, working a lot in the activities and the presentations. And also, in a briefly way, we will select one member for each group to, to give us one example of a job. What, what job did you select it? And also, what kind of training uh, do you consider appropriate for this job. So who wants to break the ice? So we have specifically three groups. We have, let's see, the first group that is the Nelson, Emerson, Jose Carlos, and Manuel Antonio. I don't know if one of you can uh, tell us about one job you selected and one training that you consider could be important for this job. I don't know who wants to who wants to do it, guys. One of you that would like to break the eyes and talk about one job. Well, I'll be I start. Um, Excellent. We select the supply chain job and we discuss the very important uh, training uh, for this position is the planning because uh, starting a production process is necessary to uh, make a, a plan strategic such as a delivery date uh, finishes product 
cost for cost no, the cost for the import if they are foreign. And after that, uh, searching the searching is a procedure. The is defining a procedure the to find when a late and enhance supplies based on the criteria achieve the cost saving and the best value of the goods on service. Excellent. Yes. It's important to evaluate the price of the raw materials because the the price is an important fa important factor in determining the cost of, of the finished product. And the for reason, there are always careful analysis. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent, Emerson! And congratulations to your group. It was a very clear and also, you know, structured training that can help them, especially the job and also the job's needs. So that's very complete. And all oh, that is a good way. Also, you know, having one of the trainings like this can help the employees to do a great task and have incredible knowledge for that. Thank you. We'll move on to the next group with this, the group room number two. We had Edwin Antonio Quinteros, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez, I think Jose Bernardo Lopez and Jose Salvador Bernal from the ground. So who of you want to, you know, to talk about one job you selected and what kind of training, you know, was appropriate for this job? Okay, one member from the groups. No, it, it, sorry, I, I have some problem with the microphone. Uh, I choose a support worker job. They have they need to have training to support people to to be as independent as they can. If they have problems, to solve fast. Uh, and be clear with the information to the people can manage every problem that they need in in the case that they are solving problems with by phone um to be polite and be very patient okay thank you so much i really appreciate it that was uh, very interesting and we have in the next group, we have Jasmine Atilio, Juan Carlos Herrera, Osman Enrique Hernandez, and Cifrida Ernesto Gomez. And um, I don't know who of you wants to like talk about, you know, one job and also one possible training. Could be me. Um, just in case we selected a uh, like health job, like doctor or like healthcare assistant. Uh, just in case we are talking about to train them in emotional intelligence and psychology. Just in case, and in a lot of cases, a doctor and a healthcare assistant are not so much polite with the patients. And sometimes gives the news about some sickness or some or to some convalescent patients in a hard way. I mean, uh, you're going to die tomorrow or you're going to die the next week. So we are talking to be more polite and get emotional training and get psychology training to this kind of jobs. Also, also uh, the other the other twenty is the doctor needs to know or training about pharmaceutic pharmaceutical because uh, the doctor needs to recommend 
uh, some or different medical medical or medicine to to people. Also, uh, they need training and use and different uh, tools and medical equipment because it's very important when in, in, in this job, they need a, a, a they need a, 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 a arterial pressure. I, I don't know how do you say, and temperature, for example, uh, is very important. They need, uh, or, or they know, how do you interpret that, that, uh, that values, right? Thank you so much. Yeah, and also I, I like the participation of, of the group in the, in the training. You support uh, some valuable points about this training. Yeah, that's right. So it, it's a very interesting. And, uh, you know, the purpose of that one, depending on what area, what kind of jobs, trainings are very valuable in the, in the development of a great job. So that is something important. Congratulations for that one. And we had a good time to talk about that. Okay, just uh, we're going to move on to the next activity, but I need to check the attendance list. So if you allow me a moment, we're going to check right now the attendance list. One second, and I will call your name. Okay, let's see, uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Edwin. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Jorge. Uh, Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. I'm here. Um, Jose Salvador Bernal. Jose Salvador. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher, excuse me. Okay, don't worry. Uh, Salvador. Okay. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. And Juan Carlos, right? Okay. Yes, yes. Kevin, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Kevin, he was here. Uh, he was here, Kevin, but I don't know. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraz. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Excuse me, I am driving right now. Excuse me. Okay, don't worry. Um, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Nelson, it's not here. Uh, look at this one, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Osman. Person, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Rafael Alexander Cerna. Um, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Sifrido uh, Ernesto Gomez. Present. Thanks. Um, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. And uh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. And um, 
sí. Uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, so let's see this. Thank you guys. Okay, well, so I was um, checking here. We move on to the next exercise after we have developed different things. And we are going to think about five motivational quotes that inspire people to do a great job. So in a company, well, as we know, we can talk about trainings, we can talk about preparation, we can talk about workshops, we can talk about overcoming challenges that people all the time have in their companies or in their job positions or in departments, etc. But I have said something important. You could have the best trainers, you could have the best teachers, you could have the best people that encourage you, but the most valuable part about yourself is that you have to be motivated. If you want to be successful, you also can have the tools that you can have for a job. If you're not motivated to do a great job, it's going to be a kind of hard for all of us to do that. Imagine as teachers, you know, we have to be encouraged for helping others. If we're not encouraged, we cannot transmit you know, knowledge. We cannot transmit passion. We cannot transmit responsibility. We cannot uh, transmit uh, commitment. So that's why it's very important. Now, I want you to think about five motivational quotes that inspired people to do a great job in a company. And then we're gonna take a short time to share it with the class. Do you know what a quote is? Do you know what a quote is? Um, yeah. Do, do you know what's the meaning of a quote? No, yes. No. A, quote, a quote is a message, it's a motivational message. It's a message that can push you to do a great job. Look at the message in the left side of the screen. It says, success comes from taking the initiative and following up persistent. What simple action could you take today? to produce a new momentum towards success in your life. This is a quote, it's a phrase, it's a message that can motivate people to do a great job. For example, I have a quote that it says, never give up, work so hard to reach the goals in your life. This is one quote that remember me that I have to do my best because obstacles can overcome. I have another quote that I always learn. It's for myself. That is that uh, every day, wake up motivated. Think about your goals and achieve them as much as you can. This is a personal message. Because for me, this quote, remember me, that every day is a new story. That you have to learn and do something important for life, for your work, and you keep on doing their best. Another quote for me is important, is that if you want to achieve goals in life, work so hard, if you fall down, wake up, stand up, and try it again until you get it. This is another quote that for me is important. Those quotes are created by me, are not uh, taken from a book or something else. I have, I thought about those quotes and also can help me to think about that one. So what I want you to do is to think about five quotes, personal quotes, five messages that you can give to people and can inspire people to do a great job in a company. For example, working in teams makes a company very successful wherever they are. This is a very nice quote for people who have some doubts working in teams. Okay, you have to think about five motivational quotes. The question is, teacher, can I look for a need or not the quotes? No, you have to write it by yourself. It's your personal inspiration. Think about five important quotes. After that, we're gonna work in a breakup rooms and you will share the five quotes you have written for example, Sofrito, in his group, he will share the messages that he have he has written to their classmates. 
At the end, all of us we will share the five quotes. Teacher. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, can you explain again uh, what is the mean quotes? I, I don't. I don't understand uh, very well. I, I don't understand. Yes, I don't. I don't understand. Okay. What, is, what is the mean? The quote. The quote, the quote is a message, a positive message. Ah, oh, okay, okay, positive. Message. Do you see what it says? Success comes from taking the initiative. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, this is a quote. You see this message? It's a positive message. So you, oh. have, to think, you have to think about five positive messages um, that you can share with your classmates that inspire people to do a great job. Oh, okay, teacher, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Is, it's okay, Jasmine? Yes. It's okay. Excellent. So I want you to, to inspire because you will inspire yourself. Inspire yourself and write the five quotes, positive quotes, okay? And I will give you uh, specifically five minutes to the desk. And when all of us, we are ready, we will go back to the breaker rooms and you will share those messages. At the end, the purpose of this one is that we can think about the positive things that can help us to work so hard to reach the goals in our jobs. Let's do it.
Okay, let's check. Osman Enrique, are you ready? Or not yet? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Excellent. Let's see someone else. Uh, Emerson? Yes, I'm ready. Ready to uh, Jose Carlos. Oh, the microphone. Sorry, I was, I am almost ready. I am in the number four. Okay, so close. If you want, I can start. Of course, uh, thanks. And what about Carlos Ernesto? Me too, I, I am number four. Okay, let's see, and Juan Carlos Herrera. I think you're ready, right? Yes, I think yes. Okay, yeah, I see you very relaxed. So I think like, you know, he's ready, <laughs> he's ready. That's cool. Okay. All right, that's okay. So what we had to do is because of the time, I, I will give you, um, let's see, um, uh, specifically, you know, five minutes or less than that, like around four minutes, and you will share the quotes. If you can explain in a briefly way, what's the meaning? And you can do it because the goal is that also we can be motivated. Being honest, even though for English classes, we have to be motivated. It's like, you know what? I had to stay here for two hours. I'm tired. I want to sleep. I need to do some other stuff. But when we think about like, you know what? Work so hard. Learn English. Don't hesitate. Do it. You are like, you know, our, our mind changes. And it's like, you know what? I had to work hard because at the end, I will have a very huge reward. And also we can feel happy. We can feel encouraged and we can do things even better than before. Yes. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, today, the the human resource people from my company asked me if I know something about an advice that he received in the email. And that said that on November 20, 22nd, uh, in Safor will stop or something like that. Do you know something about it? Mm, well, my recommendation is that um, if you can like chat in in the groups in the WhatsApp group there are some um people well there are some some people that belongs to well English corporativo so you can also um select one of them and also you can ask questions related to so things like this right so you can also ask one of them right yeah, but meanwhile, we are like, what well, we are doing now, what we had to do, okay? So my recommendation is that you can also go to chat and also check then uh, by any chance you have any questions and they can give you like more information about it. Okay, let's get ready. And I want you to, okay, let's go back to the breaker rooms. We're gonna like we're gonna take a short time to to share our quotes. Let's open it and let's practice. Oh, guys, don't forget to look for your groups, look at the screen, and accept the invitation, please.
alone. They they didn't want to to work with someone else. They reject rejected uh when you when they were sent to work with someone else. Mm -hmm. That's why if you were on team, everything become easier. Uh, the second one, work with passion and everything because will be easier. Uh, if you enjoy what you do, uh, it 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 isn't a a job. It is more like a hobby. Yeah. So I when I I. I try to apply that when I did something that I hate to do because it was boring, because it was an ugly job, whatever it be. I try to, to work with passion. I said, told me that, told myself to work with passion and everything will be easier because I try to enjoy what, what I did in that time uh, number three mistakes are part of the learning process because i feel bad when i made some mistakes and and that, that made me sad and it is easy to to make more mistakes if you're um if you feel sad Number four, mistakes make you stronger because when you do some mistakes, you have to, I, I try to, to watch the good that, me, that the mistake will make me. I, I, I'm going to learn. I won't do that mistake in the future. So I have to focus to learn the most of the mistake that I did and number five dominate the basic to dominate the hardest uh this is one thing that I I apply to myself everything that I learn something new I try to learn the base of something and when then I make the 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 base, part of me I after I dominate the base I, I will start to create a new process uh, improving the, the old process uh, short times uh, no, save times save resources oh, I don't know whatever I, I try to to dominate the base for improve after after that. I don't know if I, it's difficult to, to express that. Very I well. don't know if it, that's the uh, five that I, I wrote. Mm -hmm. Very well. And you? Um, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> When life gives you le lemons, make lemonade. Sometimes, uh, maybe the person uh, uh, if the problem is big. Uh, mm -hmm. If I design uh, uh, to do something, maybe. This is not correct because we we need to expand expand the the the, the problem past yes yes also when when we had when we are in a problem uh, in a conflict uh, the the result uh, the answer for this problem is not clear uh, we need to wait we need to wait. Yeah. Yeah, because okay. uh, many things that that don't depend with you, right? This is very very important that you think that many things don't depend 
uh, with you. Uh, no, don't defend you. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if he, oh, you. Uh, I don't know if you you can compare when you are hungry and you mm -hmm. and you get a the de, de, de decision. Mm -hmm. Yes. When when I very angry, angry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not it's not correct. Uh, uh, guess choose choose a decision mm -hmm. or or take a decision. Decision, yes. right? Mm -hmm. decision. We we had we we had to spend uh, more time. It's correct because uh, that will pass. That will pass. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Ready? I don't know, Josman. Okay. Um, the phrase for me is uh, I like you the the Henry Ford in the the bibliographic and have a good phrase. And I like you the phrase the uh, opportunity don't happen, you create team. Uh, because it's important the motivation in the job, in the life are uh, really and the capacity that really other other objective and define because uh, it's important motivation uh, are really the different for and in the job uh, on other jobs the the attitude the motivation the aspect money the the money is important really because it's no it's no whole uh, or or uh, exactly exactly other uh, other for the motivation the person for example. Uh, Craze that the in the company uh, opportunity that that the, the development uh, a portal bonus benefit the employees and your family for example uh, this is important he, he, this has uh, this um, the objective is the the employees. Uh, identify the company and, and and really for the motivation and your in and your job in your life this is one opportunity the the, the practice for me Henry Ford is a is a is my identify the the gray the gray uh, mm, Famous, famous uh, international create a product. For example, the car, right? Uh, the history of the Henry Ford is very, very good and very, very interesting. And your motivation uh, are really, and your, and your health, the, your objective, ex, and your life, and your job. The, uh, for me, I am my son. I like the. The, the speak the the objective because the the the, the define your 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 objective is a pray al a, a word a word to your your complete is important in your life in your job for example I do the last year no no more English okay I learn English because it's necessary in my job uh, my objective, okay. Uh, the seer, the opportunity, the, the learning. And this moment that I had two years in practice in support and, and uh, English co corporativo is important advance and is motivating advance and learning, for example, right? Uh, thank you, thank you, Josman. Thank you. Very good, very good. It was nice. Uh, Sifrido, what about you? Uh, well, let me see. <laughs> um, I have one here that is patient. It's a master key to open and close the door. So basically, means in some cases, 
Uh, the way it looks difficult, and uh, probably you need some I'm sorry, Cifredo. Can you can you say in Spanish or all concept, please? What is the uh, meaning in Spanish? Your quotes. No lo pensé en español, pero sería algo así como um, la paciencia es la llave maestra para abrir cualquier puerta cerrada. Okay, okay, thank you. O cualquier puerta que esté cerrada. Thank you, thank you. So basically, in some cases, you only need some patience and uh, where you are waiting for something to happen, you can spend your time in another thing, probably to read something, learn something, or work on yourself to be a better person. And then you have some patience, you wait for the correct time, and now you have another open door that uh, will be better than the other one. Okay, okay. Uh, I, only I have opinion uh, about the passions. Uh, many people, many people say is the the China China people is more intelligent. Uh, I I I I I am I am busy. Yeah. Really busy. Uh I wonder uh, in which area are you consultant? Because sometimes people ask for someone. Uh, repeat, please. In which area are you a specialist or, or give advices as a consultant? Um, and uh, I sometimes it's, a, uh, it's environmental management. I mm -hmm. I write I write reports to to different company is is advisor for environment environmental man, management environment. environmental okay. man, management yeah nice. and I I write a I write a social environmental impact study for yes. the for the ministry. Yeah, I have a lot of friends that work in FIAs. They work in some like this, obviously for the government, right? Yeah. FIAs, uh, they have some, the, their job is to be careful from the projective areas, projected natural areas in El Salvador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my first work and 25 years ago is and the, and the project FIAS projects. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, 10 years ago, I write a uh, uh, planification at the forest. Uh, and the planification forest is the the first uh, protect area, the coral in El Salvador, Los Cobanos. Yeah. Nowadays, I have been talking with some friends that work in FIAS. They them are working specific in Los Cobanos. Yeah. In Los Almendros, to be honest. This is a uh, really nice area. Wow, that is amazing, bitch. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's one the, of the best. It is the best. It's the best beach in El Salvador. And yes, yes. And years ago, um, it years was ago, take it, it had been taken for some private person, right? Yeah. And after that, the government uh, recovered, recuperó, I don't remember the word, this place. And actually, it's very nice. Wow, it's really, really nice. I really recommend you yeah, yeah. visit it's again a, wow. because it's really safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot even, a... yes, you cannot even drink Coca Cola or something like that when you're in this place and not eating snacks for the plastic, right? <laughs> it's a first yeah, world yeah. place, it's a place from first world, yeah. And in the Cubanos, you will see, you, you can see uh, a wheels, dolphins, and and turtle, turtles and different why why animals yes last week last week i started the season from the whales 
the, this friend that work in FIAS invited me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. The, the wheels uh, lives in El Salvador is from October, November, and, mm -hmm. and to to March is the the cold the cold weather the cold weather uh, lives in El Salvador, but uh, but uh, the wheels have a, a babies a baby's wheel in El Salvador. Yeah, it's an it's an amazing amazing experience. Yeah. Okay. I guess the teacher is here. Yeah, I'm I'm just listening. <laughs> I'm just listening. <laughs> He's taking notes for for his next vacation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, some tips. teacher. Yeah, of course, a good destination. Some tips that can help me. I know that. We've we already finished the the job, teacher. Excellent. That was great. So in um less than one minute, we will go back to the main sessions. Great job, guys. Okay. Okay, thank you, students. Uh, I will take a short time to uh, check the attendance list, and then we will go back with some comments related to the quotes. I was like, this incredible information. So just give me one moment, please. Okay, so you list your name, you say present. Let's see. Um, uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Eh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Edwin. Eh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. José Bernardo López. Present teacher. Eh, José Carlos Argueta. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Eh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present, teacher. Eh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Sifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present. Uh, Wendy Maricela, Mirna Elizabeth, and Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present, teacher. Teacher, I didn't listen to my name. My internet was falling down. 
Um, last name? Jose Carlos. Thank you. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, students, we're about to finish in a couple of minutes and we will have the opportunity to share it in a general way uh, some quotes. And I will choose one student and you will uh, say one of the quotes that you have written with a briefly, with a brief explanation. So Manuel Antonio Escamilla, are you there? Yeah. Okay, can you share one of the quotes that you have written to the class, please? Okay. You and your work is very important to do it as best as possible because it's our future. Okay, that's very good. So because it's the future, right? So working a lot. This is this quote motivates you every day, right? <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good to know that. All right, because it's important. Okay, uh, now choose another student. Select one from the group, and this will be the next student who will uh, share his quote. Um, yes, look at the names. We have 14 students here. 13, by the way. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Sifrido. Okay, Sifrido. Okay, Sifrido. Share no. one of your quotes and you can like give a brief explanation about it. Um, let me see. Second one. Uh, the problem exists for everyone. It would only matter how do you deal with it and transform it in opportunities. So basically means everyone will get a problem at some point in time. But the important thing is transform your problems in opportunities to grow up and improve yourself. Improve yourself. Okay. That's very interesting. Thank you so much. Okay, Sifrido, so choose one student from the group. Okay, let me see. I want to participate. Oh, easy. Go ahead, Osman. <laughs> okay, thank well, you. Well, that was thank easy you. for you, Sifrido, to choose. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my cut is when you do what you fear the most, then you can do anything. Yes. Uh, in, in this cut, cut uh, I, I want you. I want to share with you uh, a experience. Uh, was uh, for four or three weeks ago. Uh, it was my first time I I had to give a presenting a presentation in English. Uh, for me, it, uh, it was difficult. Uh, obviously, I practiced before to give the presentation. Uh, but I was very nervous. Uh, uh, but uh, when the day get, uh, I did, and I think uh, the thing was was uh, was 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 good, was fine. Yes, by the the key it was I I I I fear 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 uh, speaking in in English in front of many people. But but I did. Uh, now uh, I, I don't have many fear. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, always I fear. Always I fear nervous. I, I don't fear at all. You can say I, I am. I don't fear at all, right? Yes, but I I, I fear. Uh, how do you say? Is uh, more secure? Uh, more secure. I feel more secure. Uh -huh, secure. Only that, teacher. Thank you, Osman. And now choose uh, someone else from the class. Okay, let me see. Let me see. The, the, there is a volunteer. If if there the, 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 the is not, uh... hey, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, I know you. You you get a 
<laughs> good a speech a speech okay uh the chosen one uh, juan carlos or juan carlos or who juan carlos okay. herrera oh. ah juan carlos okay yeah. <laughs> With the moon, my partner. Yeah, with the background of the, <laughs> the moon. moon. Yes, okay. In the moon. <laughs> yeah, in the moon. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, my cue is um, uh, is a, a a phrase that uh, mentioned Marco Aurelio. Marco Aurelio was emperor, right? Uh, they say, uh, "Stop trying to be a good man. Uh, just be one." It's a, it's a short, but it's. <laughs> inspiration for me okay uh, because uh, you you um, uh, this the this cute uh, motivate me because um, I go directly to action and I I stop that trying or thinking uh, I only just um, do it right because uh, it's very important that you um, do the things and stop to uh, thinking about. It, okay, and this is my my first. It's short, but it's good inspiration for me every day. Excellent, great job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it because it's inspiration to every day. Okay, we uh, choose the last person. Uh, and Carla, choose the last one, uh, the last person to conclude the class. Okay. Uh, I choose uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. For me, my quote is, rich people create plans for the next five years or more. Poor people create plans for Saturday night, which you are. Yeah, we have to get vision and ambition in a good way. Excellent. That's it all, teacher. Thank you so much. It was very interesting. Definitely, that is very important. Okay, uh, thanks a lot for this uh, chance. Well, we're about to finish the class today. And also, you did a great job. So participation, practice, we learn a lot from each other. And also, we learn about things related to quotes, messages, and everything. I hope to see you um, uh, this next week. So don't forget to work on the exercises on the platforms. It's really important. I just want to say that in Spanish before concluded. Eh, no se les olvide completar los ejercicios. Hay dos estudiantes que no han realizado los ejercicios en la plataforma. Entonces, eh, por favor, revisen eh, el consolidado de los ejercicios. Ya la mayoría ya tienen los ejercicios de la week one homework two y ya estaremos trabajando lo que es the middle test que es el examen eh, de, de curso de medio curso entonces para que ustedes pues, vayan avanzando en los ejercicios y si sí, hay estudiantes ahí que no han completado por favor revisen porque es importante el, el desarrollo de los ejercicios ok thank you guys and have a beautiful night to all of you and especially a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.